Hi guys, my name's Natalie and welcome to Up Your Vlog. Today I thought I'd answer some questions about myself, perhaps that you didn't know about me, if you're my friends already, or perhaps if you don't know me at all then you'll get to know me through these. My full name is Natalie Anne Redman and I believe that my mother's name Anne came from my nan's mum. I think her first name is Anne. If I'm wrong then my mum will tell me. <laughs> I am 21 years old. I had to think about that because I normally, I'm so tempted to say I'm 18 when I'm not. <laughs> it's weird to think that I'm 21 now. My favourite alcoholic drink has to be... Uh... I'd say a nice glass of rosé, but I do like, especially in the summer, a nice pint of lager because I'm such a classy girl. My earliest memory has to be, there's a photo of this that my mum's got and it was when we went to the races once and I was probably only around six or seven and it's a picture of me with the newspaper in my hands kind of picking the horses and I remember being in the car and being like oh I want this one to win I want this one to win I want to pick this one and this one and that one and yeah it's just kind of one of those memories that I've that has always stuck with me really I don't I don't there's nothing really significant about it all my family were there so I, I guess that's why it's so significant really my favorite movie actor I'm going to say Hugh Jackman because Hugh Jackman is just beautiful and he's a fantastic performer and actor. Uh, yeah, and he's beautiful. My favourite movie actress? Hmm, probably has to be... Ooh, Cameron Diaz, I really like Cameron Diaz. I think she's a really good comical movie actor. I think I, I, I genuinely love most of the films that she's done, to be honest. My favourite TV programme? Well, there's two that are on level with each other. I'd say, people are going to hate me for this. One is Keeping Up With The Kardashians. I love The Kardashians. I just think they're such an out there family. And obviously a lot of it's played up to the cameras. They have what's central to a family and that support and love for each other. The family always comes first um, whenever they have problems the family sorts it so yeah I just think they're a great franchise they've done very well to get where they are they've worked hard I'd say whether you think that or whether it kind of shows I think it does I think especially Kris Jenner she seems to manage all of the Kardashians and yeah she's just like a superwoman a super mom uh, I could talk about Kardashians all day just, yeah I'm obsessed and the other TV program has to be the Vampire Diaries I didn't watch it right from the start when it came out. I kind of heard about it and then went to watch the first episode and from then on I was hooked. Stefan Salvatore and Damon Salvatore are just... Like everyone in that TV series seems to be really, really hot. Like both the girls and the boys are seriously good looking. Like I don't know where they get them from. They're just, they're just perfect. And The Vampire Diaries is just so good. So I definitely recommend you watching it, because it's fab. My favourite musical, oh, I think Jersey Boys. I went to watch it with my boyfriend um, down in London and it was just fantastic. Just everything from the lighting to the music to the plot, it was just fantastic. Plus you had this, in between scenes you had this drummer who literally travelled across the stage and was like turning and he was just cool. He was just like, yeah, I'm travelling across the stage, so what? Look at me, I'm so cool. And it was just really good and I didn't I don't re I didn't really know much about Frankie Valley in the four seasons. So the actual kind of plot of it was new to me and I really enjoyed it. It was really good. Plus the guy who played I think it was Donnie. Donnie? I think it was Donnie. The guy who played Donnie winked at me at the start. Oh, 
I literally could have died. I was so happy. I didn't even know this guy, but he winked at me. And I always like turned to Sam. I was like, oh my God, he winked at me. I mean, it will wink at me again. And I, for the entire thing, I was just watching him. Oh, he was gorgeous. Sorry, Sam. If I could go anywhere in the world right now, it would have to be somewhere hot. I just want to be somewhere hot. The weather in the UK can't decide whether it's going to be hot or cold. It's just so up and down. So yeah, I just want to be somewhere hot. Maybe Tenerife. If I can be any famous person that was dead, I'd probably meet uh, either Marilyn Monroe, who is behind me, or Heath Ledger. Because Heath Ledger was kind of my crush during my teen years and when he died I literally cried my eyes out like they came out no they didn't I'm joking but yeah I I did cry a lot and it's just so sad because he died and he was so young as well that's like the kind of sad thing Marilyn Monroe was just beautiful she was just beautiful and she was just she was so sexy I would have just loved to have met her to be honest I haven't ridden on a Buzz without pain, but I think I have on a train, not intentionally. I think I got on at one stop and was planning to buy the ticket on the train, but they never came round to me, so I probably saved about £10, if that. Uh, so it wasn't really kind of intentional, to be honest. It was just they'd forgotten about me. Oh well. <laughs> My favourite food never used to like this but sweet corn if i had to just eat any one food for the rest of my life it probably would be sweet corn and i never used to like it i don't know why whether i did try it and then not like it or i did try it and it just wasn't it's just so lovely it's just so sweet and tasty i have it with everything everything the last book that i read was the Fault in Our Stars. I will be featuring this book in my May favourites and I'll tell you more about it. But this book was absolutely fantastic. Um, it is a tearjerker. I think the movie, whether it's come out in the US already or it hasn't, is due to come out anyway. So uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to see the movie version as well. I don't remember my first day at school, but Apparently my mum and dad said that after my first day I came back and I was like really happy that I'd gone and I really enjoyed it and then the next morning at breakfast I was crying my eyes out because I didn't want to go and I hated it so I don't know maybe I did hate school I'm not sure <laughs> it's got to be Harry Potter I know a lot of my housemates and friends will hate me for this Harry Potter was probably a big part of my childhood I read all the books I didn't read them all like several times like some people did but I did read the books from start to finish I did watch all the films whereas Lord of the Rings I've tried to sit down and watch a full movie but I just think that they're just too long and I don't know it's just not really kind of interested me really my pet hate has to be burping Especially when you're at the table, I just think it's really rude. No one wants to smell your curry vomit breath whilst you're eating. I just think it's disgusting. Like, I have burped a couple of times before, but I haven't done it loudly or around a dinner table. Like, if I needed to burp, I'd probably just go to the toilet and be like, I burped. But I'm not a loud burper anyway. I've always tried to allow burp, but it's just not possible with me. I just can't do it. And I can't burp on cue, like on command. Like some people can. Some people can just like burp it out. I can't do that. My bestest friend has to be my mum because she's been there through me. Through me? She's been there with me through thick and thin. She supported everything that I've done and I really couldn't ask for a better mum to be honest. Like she does everything for me. She is so supportive of whatever I do. She's supportive of my vlogs. She's supportive of me doing drama and acting, an industry that is so hard to get into. 
and I think a lot of the time she's more supportive and more excited about my career than I actually am which is fantastic but yeah she's always been there and um, she's just so loving and she's so kind and she always thinks about others first and she always puts them before her and sometimes I think there's people who take advantage of that and you know I'm not naming names or anything but I feel like this woman to me is the most giving and compassionate person in the world and I wouldn't want anyone to take advantage of that. I love her so much. Do you have a boyfriend? Yes, I do. My boyfriend's name is Sam Griffiths and I've been going out with him for over two years now so yeah, it's pretty serious to be honest. He got me like a, a promise ring. So yeah, um, he's lovely and hopefully I shall be doing a video with him. He doesn't know this yet, uh, he's currently at home doing his dissertation and I haven't told him so he'll probably find out through this vlog that I'm doing now that I want to do a, a boyfriend does my makeup challenge. Don't worry Sam, that means you do my makeup, not me doing yours, although probably doing yours would be quite fun. My favourite joke? is <laughs> I get all my jokes from my granddad. My granddad is just the the greatest teller of jokes and they're not that funny but they just make me laugh. So there were two cows in a field. One went moo and the other one said oh, I was just gonna say that. I realised that's not really funny but I liked it. Okay guys thank you for watching my quick vlog today. I kind of made this up on the spot I didn't think of what I wanted to do today I was kind of lying in bed going oh no I need to post up a video but I don't know what to do so yeah hopefully you enjoy it hopefully you've learned a bit more about me please comment and subscribe and like the videos share them on your social networking sites and yeah I will be posting my next video on Friday see you later guys bye Meh.